Euphoria was spreading through the office. We were all talking at the same time, filled with positive energy. Hoping that we'd create something that would make us stand out from the crowd. We forgot about our misunderstandings and focused on the upcoming project. I want you to write down all the ideas, no matter how silly they might sound to you. Who knows? Maybe we just need a silly idea to make us different from our competition. It's going to be a hard task. There's no way somebody hasn't already come up with an app like ours. We'll do our research. That should be easy. There! I can help you with that. I'll start working on the code for our new app. I'm gonna need some peace and quiet, so I'd rather be working from home, if it's not a problem. In the beginning, it won't be a problem. However, I can't promise you that if the workload increases. Mizuki, we could fail, you know. Maybe all this work turns out to be for nothing. Not to mention the fact, I still have to talk to my dad about our privacy policy. We won't let our idea die. We have to make investments. We'll discuss the budget some other time. Everyone should start doing what they do best for now. We'll divide the work among us and meet again. when we have new information. I'll deal with marketing strategies and social media. It's going to be hard finding a name for our new app. That will be your sign, Minakiko. How can we use your talent? Good at assessing and observing people. I could talk to some students at the college.
to find out what kind of help they might need from us. What are they doing online? Who do they trust? Are they revealing their identity or not? That information could be crucial to us. We don't doubt your skills. I agree with Katsumi completely. Others agree too? Of course, nothing can get by you. She's reading us all like an open book. I'll help her as well. I can do some market research. Great. I can't wait to start working. I love this energy between us. I have high hopes that I'll get my life into my own hands after all. You have great ideas, Mizuki. We're here to support you. Of course. Besides, I love challenges. This new project will motivate me to work again. You better be motivated. Lately, you're just looking for a way to evade any serious work. Besides fixing bugs. Nothing new for Katsumi. You can count on me, Mizuki. I'll make sure we receive the highest level of protection. Even I'm optimistic about this entire thing. Look at Akiko. She's smiling. We started clapping in unison, and... ...managed to draw the attention of some of the workers from the adjacent office. They were looking at us. Mizuki noticed that and signaled to us to be quiet. <clears throat> We're drawing way too much attention. I wouldn't want other people to know what we are working on.
We'll end this meeting for now. When will we meet again? In a week. We don't have much time. I have to show the draft of the app to my father. Wow, you don't expect it to be finished in a week, do you? No, no. It's enough. We have a plan. To know what we want? The deadline is, in fact, two months. Ah, uh, Mizuki, that's a really tight deadline. But, if you say so. I'll start working on it tonight. We'll be in touch. Call me if you have any legal concerns. If you have no more questions... I have a question! Will you come up with a jingle or... Recognizable sound for a new app. That's a great idea, Akiko! I'm going to need the help of a piano player. I want everything to sound perfect! I don't know any piano player. Oh, don't you worry. I know exactly who to call to join us. Now I'm hyped up even more! You'll have to wait for our second meeting. Good luck until then!
After all the work talk, I enjoyed my boyfriend's attention. He was extra sweet and gentle that day. We walked to the park, his hand wrapped around my shoulders. We came to a place most couples love to hang out at. The Japanese garden was a place to be for all the lovers of nature and silence. More people than usual there. But I didn't think it had anything to do with the nature of that day. The girls were thrilled and the guys were so proud of themselves. Love and happiness were in the air. Do you also notice that everybody's laughing? Does it have something to do with me being happy at last and the world is a much better place for me? You're wearing your rose-colored glasses, which gives me hope that you're in love with me. Stop for a second and look into my eyes. Tell me, what do you see? Hmm, I see my reflection in the most beautiful eyes in the world. You charmer! Do you see anything else? Of course. I also feel your heart beating like crazy. I'd say we're both in love. You're so cute. That's why I have something for you. Happy Valentine's Day! I spent the night before in the kitchen. Carefully following my mom's recipe for chocolate-covered hearts. I was proud they turned out perfect. I handed him the box full of cookies as a sign of attention and my devotion to him. You made cookies, just for me. Thanks a bunch, sugar. I'm touched. You're welcome.
the sweetest boy in the world doesn't deserve anything less than this. He immediately took a cookie from the box, bit off one half of it, and offered the other half to me. Thanks, love. I'll grab a bite, even though I already tried them at home. I know they're perfect. You made them with love. He kissed me with the lips tasting like chocolate. And a hint of a special secret ingredient. That special ingredient was love. I'd stay with you here forever, but we have work to do. I want to stay in this park some more. This day is perfect. The sun, the cookies, and your kisses. How can I say no when you're asking me so nicely? But on one condition. You're so demanding. I ate too many sweets. I'd love to burn some calories now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure how to do that here. Look at me. Are you blushing? What did you have in mind? Tell me, did I understand you wrong? Don't you see how many people there are in the park? Well, tell me, Smarty Pants, what did you have in mind? I love that naughty and smart side of yours. Come on, on your feet. He snatched the phone from my hands and ran towards the big tree. He was teasing me to chase him and take my phone back. The tree was too wide and he was faster than me. We were chasing each other like kids. 
When I finally lay down on the grass, he got down as well and lay on his back, opposite to me. We were looking at each other upside down, but our lips found their way one to another. Later, surrounded by the silence of my room, I was thinking about everything that had happened to me that day. I fell asleep with a huge smile on my face. With our new project, I was making a business plan. I was so dedicated to work that I paused my studying to jot down a new idea. It seemed to me that everything was going well. Love, work, studies. However, the day came when I was faced with reality. I left the classroom, my head hanging. That was the first exam that I failed. I don't know what I did wrong. I answered all the questions. The professor still didn't let me pass. How will I manage to do everything now? I have another exam to pass, and to retake this one. My mother knew when the exam finished, so she called me immediately after it. Mom's calling. She'll be devastated if she finds out I've failed my exam. Hi, Mom. My honey, I couldn't wait. I had to call you. To find out how the exam went. I know how much you prepared for it. I didn't leave the house for days. So how did the exam go? No need to worry, Mom. I passed the exam. Oh, I'm so relieved. You see that studying does pay off. Don't worry. I wouldn't be mad at you even if you failed. Mm. 
Really? I'd understand if you wanted to change your career and education path. That won't stand in my way, don't worry. Getting a bad grade isn't the end of the world. Even if that happens, I won't abandon my dreams. That's my smart girl. Okay now, go home and rest. I won't be at home tonight. I'll be working overtime. Okay, Mom. I'll go straight home to relax. See you. Take care, honey. I finished talking to my mom and... ...saw Tadaki waving to me from the other end of the hallway. He hurried to catch up with me. Hi, how are you? I didn't see a lot of you these days. Hi. I'm not in the best of mood. Today's been tough. You didn't pass, did you? Bingo. I'm slipping. Don't lose your confidence. It's a completely normal thing to fail an exam. Even several exams, like me. Really? I thought you were a straight-A student, and that... That's how you got the assistant professor's position. It's nice to hear you're not, in fact, so perfect. I had my ups and downs. It'll get better. My advice is to read some literature on the subject outside the curriculum. Mention a quote from that literature to draw the professor's attention. I will. I'll do that. Thanks a bunch for your advice. You're welcome. I owe you. I have to thank you for a lovely karaoke night.
I don't remember when was the last time I had so much fun. We have to do it again. Of course. I appreciate that you consider me an equal member of your crew. Akiko had her doubts at first. But she's a completely different person now. Oh, love sure changes a girl, all right. Do you think Akiko loves me? Oops. I won't tell you anything. You'll have to ask Akiko. It might be too soon. I was hoping she had said something to you. I'm sorry, Tadaki. That information is classified. I'm not saying anything. You're a good friend. No wonder Akiko adores you. I love her too, the way she is, rude and loud. Tell her I said hi if you see her before I do. I will. See you around. I said goodbye to Dadaki and headed home. To bury my face into a pillow and yell at myself for failing the exam. I saw Mizuki leaving the classroom. She was jumping for joy. Of course, Mizuki passed her exam. She's simply perfect. It's impossible not to like her. I needed my bed and my sanctuary to get through the day. I went straight home, hoping that my mom had already left for work. Let's solve this Sudoku. There is already a 4 in this row and this column. So, a 4 goes here. There is already... I was under a lot of pressure to pass it, so she wouldn't catch me in a lie. I was starving and hoping that I would find some food in the kitchen. But all that was there was a note mom left, saying that I had to go grocery shopping. Uh, I just wish I bought something to eat on my way home. I 
I don't feel like going out. That's when I got the idea. Hey, I'm home alone tonight. This day could end better than it started. I'll call my boyfriend to join me. He could buy us both something to eat.
for a sexy nightgown that Akiko and I had seen at the store and impulsively bought. I had never worn it before and it still had the tags on. I can either return it or remove the tag and impress my boyfriend. Now is the perfect time to wear it. He won't be able to resist me. I got dressed and put on my favorite perfume. At that moment, the doorbell rang. He's here. I opened the door and threw my arms around him. He lifted me, carrying me to my room. You look just like I imagined you would on my way here. Everything's so perfect. We are a perfect couple, and this will be a perfect night. I promise I'll make you feel as good as you look tonight. We spent the evening snuggling under a blanket, watching our favorite movie. He was holding my hand the entire time. Not wanting to let it go. I was looking up at him, trying to figure out what was on his mind. Honey, why are you so lost in thought? I'm not. Just enjoying your company. I like the smell of your hair. Oh, it's nice to lie down and not do anything. I could spend every night like this. You would watch movies every night? Not exactly, but I would like you to fall asleep in my arms every night. I smiled at him and pulled out my hand. I touched his lips with my finger, whispering how much I loved him. I want you. Don't move, I'll be right back. the door of my room to be able to relax completely. I lay down by his side and let my hand glide over his body. He started breathing more deeply, impatient to have me. He grabbed me and the next thing I knew I was on my back. We knocked over everything from the bed, not paying any attention to the noise and the mess we made. He kissed me passionately, leaving me breathless. He put his head on my breast, panting.
while drops of sweat were sliding down his neck. You drained the last atom of strength out of me. Yeah, and I would gladly do it again. Be careful what you wish for. I laughed so loudly that I didn't hear my mom had come back home. Luckily the door was locked. Looks like my mom got back from work. Oops! Quickly! We have to tidy up the mess! I put the remote and my phone under the bed, as well as some clothes. Put a blanket over the bed, and I slowly unlocked the door. I heard my mom in the kitchen and signaled to my boyfriend to come out. I hope I will get away with this. I expected my mom to come to check up on me. But she did it the following day. The phone ringing woke me up. I looked at the time and saw that it was almost noon. I can't believe I forgot to set the alarm. Hello? Mom, I'm up. Girl, don't you have anything to do today? I don't know, Mom. I'll check my schedule. You're becoming irresponsible. That's not like you at all. I understand everything, being young, chasing boys, but this has gone too far. I won't tolerate arrogant behavior. Mom, but I'm not... I can't trust you! I saw it with my own eyes last night. Mom, I'm an adult. I don't have to ask for your permission for everything I do. I was hoping that I would never have to have this conversation with you. However, it's now on my agenda. You're an adult and you can make decisions about your life. But if you do that, 
you're capable of taking care of yourself as well. Yes, Mom, you're right. Think about what I've told you. I finished the conversation with my mom, still sleepy. I washed my face and sat on the bed to go through our conversation once again. I came to my senses and realized what my mom had said to me. Is she throwing me out of the apartment?